So we will have this uh, double seminar, uh, two talks. Uh, the first talk will be given by Dr. Lila Yuana, uh, entitled Web Framework Numerical Programming Using Fast API and Python. Case study generating entanglement patterns of N multipartite quantum channel for quantum teleportation. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, a brief uh, bio of Dr. Lila. Dr. Lila is affiliated to the Laboratory of Theoretical Physics and Natural Philosophy and is a lecturer at the Department of Physics, ITS. We research expertise in quantum teleportation, instrumentation, and computation. Uh, we would like to welcome uh, Dr. Lira to start the presentation, please. Thank okay, thank you, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of ITS Surabaya, I will show our gratitude for the welcome in University Malaya. And another uh, Professor Siti Uniandri and the head of department of physics, thank you for welcome us. Uh, I will present what we work. Uh, let me share screen. The topic is about fast API, and I, I will talk in fast talk because the time is now uh, two forty nine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, this is the not the new one, but I combine the several aspect. I want to share my work, especially numerical programming to another or to the other audience in the world. Yeah. And the people in the world will can can try by uh, adjust the parameter to show the result. Yeah. And several years ago I try to share my work in numerical programming by using PHP language. As I think it's uh, not quite powerful because cannot handle the imaginary imaginary number. In in this topic, I will show how to share the numerical programming in several topics, and we keep the list programming in the back end of the server and. The user can access the numerical program not directly, but uh, from the front end of the server with the pattern. Yeah. And this study case I put from my last dissertation in doctoral degree in ITS about the generating entanglement patterns of n multiparted quantum channel for quantum teleportation. We know uh, yesterday we go to the photonic laboratory, have the exceptional equipment to perform the entangle photon. Yes. And I really appreciate what the work in the laboratory of photonic because have the uh, advanced advanced setup to generate the entangled photon. Yes. For example, uh, in the laboratory, we 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 saw uh, one uh, one qubit, yeah, one qubit entangled one qubit. Yeah. But uh, in this topic, we will present just theoretical, not the experiment aspect. Just theoretical to to prepare if we have the uh, n multiparted, yeah. not just n qubit, but n multiparted. Qubit means to uh, to to, to superposition state, yeah. but multiparted 
maybe in the future we 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 can prepare the particle or something that have a n degree uh, n degree of freedom we can use this calculation yeah. so this this uh, general general calculation we can change the parameter of multiparted and also n n qubit means there is n two condition state we will talk later sorry now this is what what will i present today how to show numerical programming on the web okay fast app fast api allow us to do it yeah. maybe this is the most safe for us to keep our programming but the user can change or change the parameter yeah. and also can can present the graphics also not just numerical and we can share uh, matrix in nice nice way or graphic is also in nice way this uh, introduction of fast api this fast api is a uh, python framework that allows us to develop web api is what uh, we can we can share uh, we can show the interface in the web yeah. api is application programming interface maybe you have been familiar with matlab and then c python yes and in it is also uh, the matlab subscriber yeah we have listened for using matlab but the using is maybe have a limitation we have to we have to perform numerical in desktop only we cannot share to the other directly so the people cannot uh, cannot running our programming but we have to share our list programming to the other to show the user can access but we and then we convert our programming to python and this one is very flexible we can share to the other and the, the other can turning the programming without knowing the list programming and the requirement is i think quite easy we we can uh, subscribe a vps yeah, vps server vps server so we similar we can we have a uh, our own computer server yeah by using vps server we uh, we look like have a personal server yeah that we have to run uh, hosting yeah. fast api uh, and the python is have a high performance yeah. can handle uh, huge dimension of matrix yeah. no more than matlab as i know before and then easy to understand this is fast api and python is you know is uh, open source yeah. And if you you have uh, read about the Qiskit, it is also constructed with the uh, Python. Yeah. The user of us API now Microsoft also Netflix. Yeah. You can you can see in Google. Yeah. So I will close into our work. This is user. Uh, we call user because these people in the world 
we can uh, they can access our programming and they can tune or adjust the parameter and present the graphic or the numerical result. The user uh, to access our programming will uh, enter the front end, front end of the server. Yeah. Front end the server doesn't contain the list of programming, but just the interface, application programming interface. There's a button, text box, and then button, maybe radio button, and so on. And then front end gives the information what the user need into back end. Yeah. In this back end, we install the fast API. Yeah. In uh, our personal web server. Yeah. And also the numerical programming get developed with Python, developed by Python, uh, with Python. We can uh, we can uh, input in the back end. Is uh, I think it's simple. Yeah. Now everyone in the web can access our work and adjust the parameter. Uh, maybe this is uh, not uh, deep the uh, enormous contribution, but just little but. You can use this for to show your work. Yeah. The main the main contribution is this numerical programming what we developed before. Yeah. This one just uh, one of the methods to present the uh, programming result. You know? This is we try to insert numerical script programming in the back end. Back end side and the web API in the front and side. Yeah. Now, we maybe uh, I will show what I performed before. This is the case study. Yeah. By using fast API, you can, you can perform any, any other programming. Yeah. This is just uh, one of the study. How to classify entanglement of n multiparted? We define the kind of entanglement pattern: maximally entangled state, completely spherical state, mixed state. There are two types of mixed state. Sub entangled state and sub entangled spherical state. Yeah. What we try to make the numerical programming based on our previous uh, paper published in IGTP, Prof. City, what you suggest before. <laughs> this one about the uh, quantum entanglement and reduced density matrix. Yeah. This one is my professor, and then Pak Heri Sikamto, Heri Sikamto, and then this me, Lila Juana. Yeah. This one, how to de identify the pattern of entanglement based on the reduced density matrices. General state of n multiparted can be state as this in. This uh, general state of n multiparted. The notation i1, i2, in, this represents the parted, yeah. the creature or the particle. Yeah. Each of the particle have of the degree of freedom. For example, in the laboratory, the exception of the laboratory has photon. Photon has the to degree of freedom, yeah. horizontal polarization and vertical polarization, polarization. So, if you just have one photon, entangled photon, it means that I1, the degree of freedom is 0 to 
one. Okay. And you have two photon and two entangled photon, it means you have I1, I2. But the degree of freedom also zero to one. Yeah. There's the two qubits if you have two entangled photon. And to obtain the pattern of entanglement, we can calculate the first uh, the density matrix. This one cat kappa, this kappa or C, Pairo, C, cat C and bra C. This is the result. Okay, this is the general. And we, if we show in the matrix like this one. And for the example, for three parted, three multi parted, I mean, three multi parted, just I1, I2, I3. Yeah. And we, we haven't defined the degree of freedom. So it is a free, uh, arbitrary number. This is the whole density matrix always one yeah. based on the theory. Yeah. The whole density matrix always one, but if we examine it's the Q, uh, it's a part it, uh, it is not always one. Sometimes we have two or greater than one. And if we have the density, Reduce density matrix greater than one, it means the particle is entangled. Yeah. For example, it is to calculate the density matrix of particle A. We cancel the BC by tracing BC. We have this one. For example, we have four. Four parted, uh, four cubit, yeah. This four cubit because the degree freedom is zero and one, only zero and one. This four cubit, and this this state may be uh, cat cat phi. We begin with cat phi. I uh, forgot to write the cat cat phi here. This half cat zero 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 and so on, and we have to be careful that the, the square of all the amplitude always one. Yeah. The sum of square of amplitude always one. So one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth is one. Yeah. Because it can be as easily to square it into two states like this one. This is the, the cross product of two states, this one and this one. And so we got uh, we we can do nothing calculation. We can we can see this is the squareable state. But if the state is like, like this we can see easily to to construct or to the couple the couple the the equation into two states is the fastest way to identify the subsystem is to utilize the numerical programming based on this paper before yeah. this is the just algorithm how to convert the calculation how to convert the calculation static starting by start started by the define of the matrix define of the states yeah. a to c is the multiparted we can expand in another another notation maybe alpha beta gamma yeah and then we decide to to form density matrix. Yeah, this is the two density matrix. And then 
we uh, we evaluate its its possible combination of entangle pattern. For example, A B C D plus A B C D plus A B C D. We 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 will have uh, so many combination of pattern that possible to be used in quantum teleportation. But we have to make sure the state is entangled. Yeah. For example, like this one. This two qubit, yeah, two qubit. This the degree of freedom just zero and one. Yeah. This is uh, perform uh, not not present in fast API, but is still in desktop. Yeah. In this in this in this state, uh, not uh, web API or web programming, but it is still in PyCharm. <laughs> PyCharm in the desktop programming. Yeah. Because the result is like this, uh, not so nice the the display. Yeah. But we get a beneficial, beneficial result. We just input for construct this two qubit. We have to input two and two as a basis. It means there are two qubit. Yeah. Two here, two number here. It means the degree of freedom. So zero and one. Yeah. Zero and one, there is two particle. So this is two qubit. And we can start the, uh, we fill the states like this one. One half, this, uh, maybe the first person one, yeah. Cat, I will write cat as, uh, what is this? Colon, no, no, colon, no, uh, square, yeah. We, you, you can, you can find in your keyboard, <laughs> Zero zero and half zero one half zero one zero one half one one and this the programming output like this one and this the many set matrix one 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 it means not the entangle state this the spherical spherical state yeah this is the spherical state and then the next example. What we call this one, the, the state, we have three qubit, yeah, three qubit, one, uh, one of a square root of two, cat zero 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 plus cat one one one. So we can enter two, two, two. There are three qubit, yeah. This one, what we write, Star, double star means the square, yeah. And the result is like this. Matrix A to B to, and then C to AP to BC to CE to. It means ABC is entangled. And AP entangled, BC entangled. So if we, uh, if you will use the quantum state for the quantum channel for this for this state, you can you can put AP or PC or CA as the entangle button, for example. This is the Next example, I think we move to this one. What we call this state? There is zero zero one one two two. How many degree of freedom? Three, three, yeah. Zero, one, and two. Because there are two particle, we say the two Q trip. Yeah. Two Q trip. Yeah. This two Q trip. So we input in the programming three. Three is degree of freedom. There are two, two Q three. Yeah. And we write uh, this one. 
and the result we have the rank matrix of A and B, 3, 3. Because the rank matrix greater than 1, we can say that the matrix, uh, the reduced matrix, the matrix A and B, this A and B is entangled. Yeah. But we have known what particle to represent this Q3. <laughs> what particle have the three degree of freedom? Yeah. Can you mention the example? See? <laughs> How can we obtain the particle have the three degree of rhythm? Button always two, yeah? Horizontal and vertical. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe someday we will have the particle that have uh, three degree of rhythm. And we can realize, realize the this theoretical calculation. Yeah. Now, we convert to web programming. But the this programming is completely the same. We just install the fast API and the library in web server. And also, you have to design this input the interface uh, this is the textbook textbook and then button and this is the result if we want to represent the graphic we can also add the library to show the numerical basic into the graphics yeah. uh, maybe you can you can try this one maybe i will i will uh, give an example better yeah Maybe we can move to the question and answer session. Okay, thank you very much. So now we open for Q&A uh, uh, in the hall and also uh, from the web, from Zoom. You're free to uh, unmute and, and ask questions. So first, from the audience. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Uh, uh, is there any specific need for you to make this part of the Yeah. Uh, Python, I think, is very... Uh, I, I have one. <laughs> uh, powerful and then can be used in many many ways to share the to, to present in many in Android and then in what is this uh, Apple phone? Yes. It's very practical to 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 present our result in many form for patent. But if you use uh MATLAB that is not only yeah there is a menu of parties in MATLAB and I try to publish the this program and then this I think is uh, enough to share to the other. Yeah. Any question again? I think it's quite clear. <laughs> Just now you, you asked uh, whether a particle can have uh, three you know uh, yeah. degree of freedom. Photon can. You oh, can okay. if you go for angular orbital angular momentum oh. on top of polarization, oh. you can add higher degree yeah, uh, higher degree properties of photon. In fact, it can be more oh. if you can uh, decode the photon in uh, different degree of freedom. Oh. Yes, it is possible. Oh, thank yes, you very much. Yes. <laughs> it is it is possible. Uh, question. Uh, that's uh, that's another another possibilities of uh, detecting the pattern uh, in characterizing entanglement people also use higher order singular value deposition decomposition yes uh, SVD SVD yeah SVD for two part type maybe SVD is sufficient but for more than two particles there are higher order SVD yeah. uh, 
which is essentially decomposing the matrix into yeah. sub matrix yeah. yeah and since you are doing basically that you know when you look at the matrix you are characterizing the pattern in the matrix yeah so it has some uh, i think some relation to svd as well SVD. yeah maybe yeah. that is probably the algebraic background to yeah. your algorithm yeah. and i think in it has also somebody has tried to identify the entangled pattern by using invariant invariant invariants Yes, in Parian, I think it also may be the same utilization. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, yeah. In fact, there are a lot of uh, active work going on on characterizing yeah. entanglement. Yeah. Yeah. So that we we good. hope to see this work and plus many other new methods, you know, being yeah. uh, developed. Yes. Okay. Uh, questions you. from? Can we check whether anybody asked question oh. from the web? Is there any questions from? Our audience uh, on Zoom. Ada pertanyaan yang dari Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, they can be unmute, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, sorry. Huh? Maybe they can unmute by it. Uh, okay, you can ask. You can unmute your, by yourself if you have a question, everyone, in the Zoom. I have opened the quality for unmute, unmute by themselves. Or you can make a chat to send them a question. Any questions? Okay. I'm sorry, I forgot to open the security for chat and unmute. Okay, you can you can send the question by chat or you say it directly. No question? I think it's completely clear. Yeah, <laughs> probably they are trying out your your program. Yeah. yeah. How many? Uh, what is the the scaling scaling of the number of particles and uh, you know the computational load? of your algorithm uh, there is no limitation i think for the n multiple wow <laughs> yeah. that's uh, interesting because yeah. uh, analytically you know yeah. uh, more than three you struggle yeah, you, yeah. You, uh, yeah. Calculate by yes you have a question yeah, yeah. yeah. If you chose the website to access oh yeah is there any way to access it programmatically like from python and then send a request to get the answer yes if uh, for example i will i will demonstrate the programming this one this uh oh sorry what friends uh, you can look this one is the uh, how to write the input this if you write two to do it means two basis to degree of freedom in all multiplied from three, three, three is there is three qubit yeah. maybe four 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 it means the particle is three but the, there are three particle and the degree of freedom is four, but you can you can change for the second particle is two. But we have to write in if we have two sum, it means one square, one square, two, uh, one I give two and then square zero by five. And then this one, straight line, and then for it means two, two, one. For example, it is cat plus. I can copy this one. For example, 
zero, this one, two. Oh, sorry, be careful, this two, it means the degree freedom is zero and one. Yeah? You can you can write two in here, but zero or one only. It is three. I think it's correct. And this is the matrix. Mm. So we have three entangled state. We obtain from C, A, B, and B, C. Uh, this is our source for the quantum teleportation, for example. We can choose B, C as the integral state, or A, B, or just B. Yeah? Oh, if, if we have the, our own PC that can connect to the internet, it is, uh, we just have to run uh, VPN, VPN, virtual personal server. And we just have to run the VPN so we can perform the translation. Because we, we uh, our aim is to the people can access our programming, right? So we have the we have to provide the people. Yeah, you have to stand here. We can then the provider, the provider, provider. Yes, in the server, but not not. Uh, not all this paper computer is just server, server is common server. Is. We have to uh, make the collaboration with the provider to put our programming. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The main the main idea is we have the personal IP, personal IP. So we the people can access our IP. IP address. Yeah. We can easily uh, rent uh, to the provider. With the uh, famous provider in Malaysia, provider server. Yeah. Maybe in Indonesia. Yeah. Not just for Indonesia. You, you can run the PPS in Malaysia, the provider that they provide the PPS telephone. PPS telephone. If you uh, easily you can imagine if you have developed a web uh, profile company profile and put in the internet, you have to uh, you have to put this web into the provider to so you can you can you can make sure the people can access your web. So you have to send a uh, send to the provider. Yes, I think server. Yes, sorry. Yes, I think server. I think server that can handle the VPS. Not just the think server, but the the traffic has menu uh, to. So we can manage the the server by ourselves. Uh, the facility is PPS, virtual personal server. In Malaysia, um, we can say PPS provider. Sorry, provider in Malaysia. This one, PPS Malaysia, and um, there's a lot of PPS hosting in Malaysia. You can choose uh, FB provider here. Yeah. You can choose the uh, cheaper yeah, This is the 
Example, VPS Malaysia. Yes. Like we, can, uh, we can discuss that, that detail later. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, we give a, a round of applause to our visitor, uh, Dr. Lila. So we move to a second uh, speaker uh, from ETS as well. Uh, Eru Sukamto. Uh, he'll be uh, presenting his talk titled Quantum Lenoir Engine in the Presence of Minimal Length. This is a very interesting area that is uh, fast growing, a uh, quantum heat engine. You know, when when people talk about industrial revolution, it was started by heat engine, classical heat engine. And the revival of uh, second uh, quantum revolution, you know, again, you know, this is one of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, active work in the quantum heat engine, all sort of quantum heat engine. Sterling uh, engine, auto engine, uh, Zilat engine, and so on. So, a brief bio of uh, uh, Mr. Heru Sukanto. Uh, Heru is uh, affiliated to the Laboratory of Theoretical Physics and Natural Philosophy, the lecturer at the Department of Physics, SAS, with research expertise in quantum game, quantum heat engine, and quantum teleportation. Okay. Uh, so the floor is yours, Hero. And then uh, we uh, 
Uh, we must do it yeah. uh, here and we are export here yeah and then uh, uh, and then uh, we choose the hit the British term why because uh, because because this term it is the Shannon entropy that the entropy is related to the probability of the system if if we change the entropy so the probability will be also changed as we know from thermodynamics yeah uh, the heat is equal to tds yeah the heat is equal to the change of entropy so it will uh, 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 so uh, if uh, it is a uh, uh, this is referred to this term and this term and the rock assisted system and then in the quantum and then we will discuss about quantum dynamic process processes yeah uh, in the thermodynamics we have isothermal isobarics adiabatics and so on yeah and so in the quantum in the first i will discuss about isothermal uh first about quantum isothermal process as we know the isothermal process is mean the total energy is conserved yeah there is there is heat that enter the system uh, and then uh, there is also excitation and recombinations here yeah and then for and then the works as it is not constant it's not constant too but the temperature is still constant and then we also have the adiabatic processes yeah process here and the, at this adiabatic process because the entropy is zero yeah there is no change of entropy during the adiabatic process so the probability of the system is zero and then we have isobaric process yeah uh, and then isoporic processes uh, the the very important thing in quantum heat engine is about the working sub substance yeah working substance we, we can use a quantum a particle that trap in the infinite well as working substance also we can also use the spin system or harmonic oscillator yeah harmonic oscillator as the working substance and then uh, first i will discuss about the very uh, the quantum heat engine yeah the this is the works by bender i think i, 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 think I forgot to mention here is uh, i will use the carnot cycles uh, carnot, as we know the carnot cycles consists of the uh, isothermals and adiabatic process our step one yeah uh, we assume that uh, initial conditions at point A is we take the ground state. Uh, I think the N is is uh, I think it should be the ones, yeah, yeah. And then during the process, yeah, I will use the two level state, yeah, two level state during the, during the process. The particle will move, will will have the probability at the ground state and post excitation state. And uh, at the end of the process, yeah, will all of them will go to the post excitation state. Yeah. And then during the process, this is probability of the state, yeah. And then after that, and under step two, we see yeah, this adiabatic process, yeah. During this process, uh, there is no heat that enter the system. Uh, the through the works yeah the works uh, uh, we, we use the first law of the thermodynamics the works is doing by the internal change of total of total energy here and then uh, using the very basic calculations yeah we will have the efficiency of scene of the energy here it is uh, the works by bender yeah the energy is uh, as uh, depend on the 
the width of potential wells here and here. And then, uh, and then I will talk about what I works. Uh, uh, this is the generalized uncertainty principle. In quantum physics, we have the Heisenberg uncertainty principle like this. Yeah, like this. And then, why the uncertainty principle become like this? It is the consequence of from the quantum gravity. Uh, so, actually, uh, about quantum heat engine up is about uh, thermodynamics applica application to a uh, quantum system. Uh, but uh, this one is from quantum gravity. It's, there is quite gap. Yeah, there's a quite gap. Yeah, and then, uh, of course, uh, if we take this uh, generalized uh, assembly principle, we'll make uh, several consequences. Yeah in quantum physics yeah and then, then there, there, there are uh, some uh, about uh, level energy of hydrogens there is a uh, about uh, level energy of the quantum mechanics and then it is also consequent in casimir effects that are the bits yeah uh, this uh, general principle also have the consequence uh, uh, to the existence of minimal lengths yeah, minimal lengths, yeah. It is uh, the term, system beta is parameter that uh, that re represents uh, uh, that related to the quality quantity of the minimal lengths. And then, to, in order to satisfy this this Einstein principles, then the operator x and p become like this, and then the Schrodinger equation. I will take, we will, will come like this. Of course, uh, it has consequence uh, to the level energy, yeah, like this. And then uh, I take this opportunity, yeah, I take this, uh, this formula, of, uh, uh, and then I will work with uh, quantum heat engines, just like that, yeah. And then I take the Particle traps of infinite and well uh, with influence of minimal lengths as a working substance. And then I use linear cycles here. Why linear cycle? Because uh, in the in the article, article uh, the Carnot cycles, auto cycles, Brayton cycle, they are already discussed. Yeah. Yeah, that the fall of a disability, but then the cycle is uh, very uh, clear, clearly discussed. So I take the cycles, the slender cycles, yeah, consist of uh, isobaric processes and isobaric processes, and, and then adiabatic process. I take, I like this, the first, yeah, I take the initial condition as the first, yeah, ground state, and then during AP process, yeah, the state will be expand to the n level system. Yeah, and then and then I take the n level system uh, to the maxim uh, maximal uh, states that to the, to my systems, and then at the end of the process, with all of probability will come to the n level system, and then I have this one. The efficiency of the engines, this one, there they are. Yeah. This one, yeah. And then I plot uh, uh, the efficiency uh, versus the initial width of potential wells. I have this one. As we know, uh, the eff the efficiency tend to the constant value at the large LA here, but at the small. Uh, size of the width of potential well we have this one yeah the efficiency, efficiency tend to uh, to be maximum value and there uh, so uh, so we can conclude then the assistant of minimal lengths 
can increase the efficiency of the engines ya yeah. yeah. but uh, it have a restriction but uh, yeah the value of the the width of potential must be very small must be very small you know yeah and then for multi particle energy cycle yeah uh, it has the same value that is uh, what i like to share there is some opportunity that we can come uh, about one of the engine as we know the this works is very simple works yeah i think undergraduate student can uh, make some calculations uh, with some simple course yeah yeah and then the opportunity here is uh, and uh, we can use uh, uh, the several bus uh, several uh, as things to be working substance we have we can use fermion boson harmonic oscillator spin system relativistic particle yeah and then we can change the number of dimensions I one three or n dimension I think we can we can calculate the a quantum heat engine in the hyperspace dimensions yeah uh, for the application uh, we, uh, we 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 can challenge the future engineer yeah. and then we can also make some uh, things about thermodynamic cycle we can have Carnot, Otto, Brayton, Diesel and then also the, the other uh, cycles yeah there is Ericsson, Stirling, Mason, Stoddard, yeah, Atkinson, Humphrey, and Lloyd, Lennon. Yeah, yeah, so the combination is uh, quite rich, yeah. And then we we have also the goal we can uh, uh, calcul calculate the efficiency of power output here. Or we can check, we can add with the external variable like magnetic fields and then minimalize that I uh, discuss uh, about cool space and the other yeah maybe you can also uh, can add uh, electric fields yeah and the objects as we know the quantum heat engine yeah we yeah there is a several people that discuss it in to uh to mix a model of black holes yeah we made some analogy uh, uh, of about temperature with the surface area of black hole then the other yeah and also in vehicle system and solar cell. And okay, thank you everyone that my presentations. Any questions? Thank you very much. Um, question, please. Yeah. What is the difference between quantum and regular engine? Quantum engine and? Regular engine. regular engine uh, quantum heat engine is actually uh, it has the term quantum so the engines must be very small <laughs> must be very small okay. yeah. can you harness the power if it doesn't like an engine right yeah it is excess but in the in the small objects and yeah, maybe uh already reads about uh like photosynthesis processes that include some interaction and atk and the other it is a, a kind of quantum heat engine so yes every day every uh, quantum heat engine oh the most uh the most uh the most uh Simple model output for the fit any is using measure, using measure, three level measure, measure, M A S E R. Measure, yeah. Yeah, measure, measure. Microwave laser. Microwave laser. Microwave laser, yeah. It is a very simple engine. And then we can take a solar cells, solar cells, as we know, the solar cells uh, will generate electric currents yeah we can make some uh, analogies yeah that the legs uh, and the 
electric currents uh, like the lights uh, from that that uh, absorbed by solar cell as the initial uh, as the input heat yeah uh, input heat and the electric current as the works yeah we can treat it as electric uh, quantum field engine too yeah Untuk molekul, uh, untuk molekul, hmm. maybe we can, but it has uh, some time, yeah. Maybe you can uh, uh, give me some idea to fix the SN molecul. Okay, I will thank you for the questions. Yeah. Cannot so uh, higher? Yes, uh, higher than cannot the efficiency, but uh, this is very, uh, very uh, as fun statement. So I can, I, I still, as I, I cannot. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it is a very advanced statement, but uh, it's all uh, that it, it's a restriction. But the width of the the width of the mist, uh, the width of the potential width must be small enough. Yes, it is it uh, more than cannot efficiency. Relativistic effects. Uh, uh, oh yeah yes uh, no, uh actually actually uh it is uh in i i read about a paper of, of camps that in the existence of minimal lengths existence of minimal lengths uh become significant at the high energy so if it takes the 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 value of the width potential width small enough yeah according to the according to the according to the right okay. right according to the equations Yeah, according to these equations, if we take uh, the width of potential as small enough, yeah, so the energy will be high. So the existence of any minimal lengths will become significant. That is uh, that I uh, read about. I read uh, at the paper of camps and of person finders, maybe just like yes, it is uh, uh, more than cannot efficiency. Actually, uh, it is about the application to minimal lengths. Uh, in the several last months, I submit a paper uh, to the PRE, and then I got rejected, and they com the comments of the reviewers, yeah. and then he is uh, not uh, agree. He doesn't agree. He doesn't agree uh, to mix uh, uh, to to mix uh, to apply minimal lengths to the quantum quantum field engine to the thermodynamic dynamics uh, it's called it it uh, fillet it makes Lorentz fillet Lorentz violations or also <laughs> and the string stuff that I don't yet not yet understand <laughs> that is so 
Especially for me, related when you say you go to the very small legs, yeah, and you can improve theoretically, you can yeah. improve the efficiency, yeah, but you know, smaller length, you also have to negotiate with uncertainty principle. Uh, there are certain limits that you cannot go beyond, yeah, so there could be a kind of uh, you know, a trade off yeah. between uh, what you call minimal length. And you know, ultimately, there's another minimal length, which is the Planck scale. Yeah. So you bring that to black hole, that Planck scale is a limit as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But the minimal length, the value of minimal length is in, in the femtometer. Then in order minus 15, so my model is still uh, 10 in order to minus 12. So can, can. It is linked to momentum. Momentum then links to energy. Yeah. And then you know when you squeeze something, you know something else would be sacrificed. There could be you know some link, you know, because you have not evoked the uncertainty principle yet. Mm -hmm. That's one part. Second, what about the second law of thermodynamics? Second law uh, of thermodynamics. Uh, Mm. You, you know, second law here, the entropy production and so on. Can, can that violate also some of the, you know, unitary nature of, of quantum mechanics? Uh, I cannot yet calculate it. Uh, I need yep. to, so it is interesting to know uh, mm. is that property unitary and also, you know, reversibility of the cycle, you know, heat engine. Right, reverse okay. engine basically reversibility here. You're talking about uh, quite interesting thing. Yeah. Any question here from our Zoom? Zoom, Zoom audience has been very quiet. I'm challenging you guys. If uh, that's any further question, last question. Examples about heat engine, biological systems are many potential and molecules like for example a proton pump when H plus goes to a membrane and goes front and forth basically it's a pump and proton no proton here is H plus uh, ion hydrogen ion and if you can make it go cycle basically you are creating an engine. Uh, so there are a lot of examples of potential quantum engine being realized in biological systems. Okay. Uh, sometimes called also microscopic quantum phenomena involving large molecules. Quantum tunneling is a process that can be turned into an engine. Uh, also can be done. So when our friend mentioned just now about two state system, if you can pump two state system, basically, you know, if you can generate work by doing it. Uh, it can be a model of, you know, of of, uh, of a heat engine. Yeah, there are a lot of examples I think would be realized when people make that kind of micro machines using biological systems. And biological system is essentially a thermodynamic system. The smaller you go, you are reaching at the quantum nature of the biological system. And one of the examples often cited is the tunneling uh, in, uh, you know, I think for one I also know, you know, one of your students, the part that the tunneling of uh, between, you know, bonds, H bonds. Uh, and also some of the excitations, you know, excitation, electronic excitation, electronic level excitation. Okay. So there are a lot of examples that we can explore. Okay, if there is no uh, further question, let's thank both our speakers uh, for for uh, interesting talk. Okay. As a small gesture, for some reason, would you like to hand over a small gesture to our own? Uh, I'm going to live in my room. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, can we wait a minute? Because I think we'll. Uh, yeah. But we can uh, do your, your yeah. part. Yeah.
Hairu tidak. Hairu terima, terima dulu. Hairu, kamu macam. Hairu itu borong pak. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, uh, thank you for attending uh, this uh, double seminar. And also thank you to our audience for staying on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, joining us from uh, different locations. So hopefully we'll meet again in another uh, venue, another center of theoretical physics uh, seminar, which will, of course, we will do it hybrid as well in the future. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Okay, everyone, I will close the Zoom. Thank you. Thank you.